The celestial archer rises in the southern summer sky. Sagittarius is the centaur archer. He aims his bow at the heart of the scorpion as he chases the scorpion across the sky. The area around Sagittarius is an exceptionally beautiful part of the sky. The center of our home galaxy, the Milky Way, lies in the direction of Sagittarius. That means that, if you want to see the Milky Way at its brightest, Sagittarius is the place to look. The brightest stars of Sagittarius actually make a teapot shape, and one can imagine the Milky Way as steam coming from the teapot's spout. Our galaxy's central supermassive black hole is in this direction as well, just off of the spout of the teapot. Being the direction of our galaxy's core, Sagittarius is also a prime area to explore with binoculars or a small telescope. In fact, it's harder to find a spot in this region where binoculars don't show something amazing. Sagittarius represents a few different characters. One of them is Krotos. Krotos was a foster brother to the Muses. He lived a peaceful life, but he did invent archery, which he used to hunt for food. He also invented applause, as he clapped along with his sister's songs and clapped faster in appreciation after they were done. Sagittarius is also one of a couple constellations to represent Chiron. Chiron was a son of Kronos and a half-brother of Zeus. Chiron was also the greatest teacher and tutor of the classical Greek lore. He taught many famous heroes, including Hercules, Asclepius, and Achilles. Once, when he was dining with Hercules, the two were attacked. In the battle, Chiron was accidentally struck with one of Hercules' arrows, which were poisoned with the Hydra's deadly blood. Although Chiron was one of the world's greatest healers, the poison of the Hydra's blood was incurable, and Chiron lived in constant pain. Ages earlier, Zeus had condemned and imprisoned Prometheus for teaching humanity how to control fire, and had declared that Prometheus could only be freed if another immortal gave their life for him. Rather than live forever in pain, Chiron renounced his immortality to free Prometheus, after which Zeus memorialized his brother Chiron with a constellation. <laughs>